we go to question number nine the first one draw the graphs of the equations below the first equation given is x plus y equal to 2 now here you will remember that whenever we have to draw the graphs of the equation what we have to do first of all when they say an equation and it is a linear equation you remember we have to draw a line and to draw a line you remember you have to have points and if you have to have the points on the line you have to have the coordinates of them so we have to find the coordinates of points and how many points do we take we take three points although we require only two points to draw a line we take three points so that we are sure that the points and the coordinates we are taken are right okay so now let us take this equation what they have given x plus y equal to 2. Now remember in every equation whenever we are given what we do is we keep either x or y on the left hand side and transfer all the remaining terms to the other side. Preferably we take the variable which is having coefficient 1 on one side and the remaining terms on the other now here if you see x and y both have the coefficient one so we can take either x on the other side or y on the other side so what i do is i take x on the other side now whatever i take on the other side that is x i am taking on the other side so i have to put values for x so i get corresponding values of y so let me start with the sum so you understand what i am doing first i write the equation x plus y equal to 2 i said we take x on the other side therefore y is equal to 2 minus x. Now I told you we put different values for x. Now the usual trend is to put three different values we will be putting. One positive, one zero and one negative. So let me take let x is equal to say suppose 3 so this is a positive value so what happens y is equal to 2 minus now in place of x i will have 3 so 2 minus 3 therefore y is equal to 2 minus 3 the sign of the bigger number is minus so i have here minus 3 minus 2 is 1 so y is equal to minus 1 now again i write the equation here x plus y equal to 2 same step y is equal to 2 minus x now here i taken a positive value next i will take x as 0 so let x equal to 0 so positive value 0 next i will take x as a negative value so x equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 2 minus x so in place of x i will put 0 now so 2 minus 0 so y is equal to 2 minus 0 is 2 so y is 2 now again here the first two steps will be the same x plus y is 2 therefore y is equal to 2 minus x he said now we will take x as a the value of x as negative so here positive here 0 say suppose here i am taking minus 1 a negative value therefore y is equal to 2 minus now in place of x i have to write minus 1 therefore y is equal to 2 minus minus 1 will be 2 plus 1 which is 3 therefore y is equal to 3 now these values which we had put here and got we will put it in this table 
so here i'd put in the first case i'd put the value of x as 3 y is minus 1 so 3 and minus 1 second case x is 0 y is 2 so 0 and 2 in the third case x is minus 1 y is 3 so i write here minus 1 and 3 so now you see i can have three pairs of coordinates the coordinates here will be 3 comma minus 1 here 0 comma 2 and here minus 1 comma 3 now using these three coordinates i will draw the line first coordinate is 3 comma minus 1 so you will see the x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative that means it will lie in the fourth quadrant okay so here 3 comma minus 1 lies in the fourth quadrant so 3 on the x axis and minus 1 on the y axis is this point so i will name it as a 3 comma minus 1 the second co coordinate is 0 comma 2 so 0 comma 2 is a point lying on the y axis because the x coordinate is 0 so that is this point we can name it as b 0 comma 2 and also the third coordinate is minus 1 comma 3 minus 1 on the x axis and 3 on the y axis so it is lying in the second quadrant so minus 1 comma 3 will be this point so we mark it as coordinate c and write minus 1 comma 3 now we have to draw the graph of this means we have to draw the line which passes through these three points so i keep my scale such that all these points are in line with it okay and then i draw the line so you see when i am drawing the line i am drawing from one end to the other end of the graph so here i will mark put an arrow mark and again here on the lower end of this line i put an arrow mark okay now i have drawn the line what is left to write the equation of the line what is the equation of the line x plus y equal to 2 okay so here now when I am writing the equation of the line, I will write it against the line. I won't write it straight against. So I will write like this. X plus Y is equal to 2. Okay. So once you write this, it is clear that this is the line which is asked for and these three are the coordinates of the points which lie on this line.